What do you call someone who can't stop smoking? Addicted. What do you call someone who can't stop drinking? Addicted. What hit you in the face last night? Addicted. Ah. Let's just pop in. Hello and welcome back to Potty Mouth, the show where the jokes are dirty and our minds are dirtier. I'm Aaron, this is Blake. How you doing? And today on the podcast, we're talking about my strange addiction. Well, not mine or yours or his, but general crazy strange addictions. I'm sure we all have bad habits. Addictions. Addictions, if you will call them. But we're going to see some of the craziest ones today. But first, Potty Mouth only has five weeks left. Five? Five weeks left in season one and then we're on to season two, but we're taking a little bit of a break between season one. We're going to take a two-week break and come back with something really, really special. Um, It's a little spooky. It's a little crazy. It's going to be fearful and frightful for us, um, but you guys are going to love it. So make sure to stay tuned till Friday. We're going to give you a special sneak peek um, of the new project that we're working on. I don't want to tell too much because you don't want to give it too much away. So come back Friday um, to see the fear come to life on the show stay so, tuned stay tuned for friday but on to my strange addictions um do you have any weird addictions or weird habits that you would th- that you would like consider a habit or strange addiction um the only thing i can think of is um have you ever watched uh what, what crap was it called uh, everybody loves raymond mm-hmm. yeah okay so his big ass brother who always touches the chin oh he when eats. he like he, he like touches the chin and eats it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay so f- from what my girlfriend told me apparently i will randomly just like smell my fingers just i, I don't know why i like, i'll scratch my head and i'll smell my finger <laughs> you do do that is that weird that's a little weird i <laughs> That's strange. I would classify that as strange. Like, I have no idea why I do it. Do you but... scratch your butt and smell your fingers? No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> He's like, no. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh, even realize I do it. Yeah? Like, it's just one of those things, and, like, she's been calling me out on it, so I'm like, oh, I am. Shoot. Like, Crap, I did it again. Then yeah. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Um, I don't do it anymore, but I used to pick my nose like on a like a ridiculous level. Okay. I think we might have talked about it on the show before. Oh yeah, we have. We have talked about it on the show before, where we where if you pick your nose and eat it, it boosts your immune system. Apparently so. Yeah, according to whatever we re- researched at the time. Um, if you want to go check that out, it's probably in the link below, or just go through season one and watch it all. Um, but anyway. So, yeah, so I, I used to pick my nose to like a strange, weird habit. Like I'd wake up in the morning every day. I was like from probably – I probably did it until I was like 12. Is that weird? I mean, I, I still pick my nose. <laughs> Straight up? Yeah. Well, yeah, but do you eat it? No. That's what I meant. Like, oh, I would, you yeah, eat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, would, I, would pick my no- I would pick my nose and eat it. That's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would, I would totally – that's why I said I, I never got sick when I was a kid. Like I never got sick. And I always attribute it to to the uh, to picking my nose. I don't know if that's the case, um, but it is true that uh, bacteria cannot grow in your mouth or, or cannot grow in your esophagus or your stomach. So I feel like a lot of that bacteria comes through your nose. <clears throat> so I feel like yeah. by me picking it and getting it in my stomach or my mouth or my esophagus, I wasn't ever going to get sick because of. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm full of shit. But I, I don't think that. No, I, you're full of boogers. I is think, what you are. <laughs> I think I did that until I was like 13. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I lost my virginity before I stopped picking my nose. Is that, <laughs> is that sad? Did you pick her nose and eat it? No, 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 no. You can pick your nose. You can pick your friends, but you can't pick your friend's nose. <laughs> that is that is the truth. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. So I used to have a porn addiction, but we've talked about we've that. We've talked about that. Yeah, we've talked about Actually, that. Actually, that episode just came out like... It came out like it was yesterday because I keep thinking of, like, I, I it's weird. I, you you called it weird. Maybe that's an addiction. How I remember when we post episodes, because I do remember. I remember like the day, or no, I don't remember the day, but I remember like what episode, what number, and what the subject was. 
Yeah, I have no and idea. He's like, how he he's does like, it. I have no idea. <laughs> it's like that happened. I remember it, but I don't know what episode. Oh, you remember when we did this on episode five? I'm like, I remember doing that, but don't know what episode. <laughs> he's like, oh, what happened when we did this? I'm like, yeah, he, that's true. If I get specific, he has no clue. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I just know we did it. Right. Anyway, so back to your thing. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, I mean, I was just pointing out that I used to have one. Yeah, we talked about that on the porn episode. I think that's episode 10. Yep. So. <laughs> there he goes again. Wait, episode 10? Let me see. Oh, my goodness gracious. Pretty sure. Boom. Epi- nope. Yeah, episode 10, porn. I'll be damned. Yep, episode 10. Okay, cool. Anyway. And Hoosiers. Um, so now on to the Strange Addictions. Uh, if you guys are also aware of a TV show on TLC called My Strange Addiction, that's kind of where we're getting these, um, just because when we researched it, it's pretty much all that popped up. Yep. Um, so we're going to go through some of the weirdest ones, the top 10, and we're going to give our feedback on the Strange Addictions and kind of go from there. Sounds good. Cool. All right. On to the first one. All Number right. Eating drywall. Eating drywall? Uh, yeah, eating drywall. What the crap? There are a lot of creatures that can get inside your walls and eat away at your drywall, causing serious damage to your home. But 26-year-old Nicole is beating the mice to it. She pulls out hunks of drywall from her home, leaving holes sometimes three feet wide. I'm going to show you, mice. That's crazy, dude. Could you even eat drywall? I'm... Is that even safe to do? I I would I highly doubt that. Yeah, I would <laughs> I don't know, dude. Let's see. Dangerous and risky. Yeah. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. My name is Nicole. I'm twenty six years old. I'm a single parent. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm addicted to eating drywall. Oh, and I she's got braces. Yeah. House. Nicole has been addicted to eating drywall for over seven years. It started innocently. Seven with a bite years. Of chalk. I switched from chalk to drywall because drywall tastes better than chalk to me. Drywall tastes now, better than chalk, is what she's just said. Six Apparently. I love the smell of drywall, the texture of it, the taste. I love everything. You know, I'm drywall. curious, though. Kind I of wonder like if she taste, and I'll probably made that kind of habit this much a day. Like, just because of the fact that maybe they were low on supplies of food? No. I get drywall wherever maybe. I can find it. There's my no, house, for instance, crazy. my friend's house, and sometimes my grandmother's house. It's a little strange. It's just very strange. This is the a hole little? in the wall that I've created a by a picking. A little, like a she lot started of with chalk. For like two months. <laughs> she started I with chalk. I take a piece chalk. like this and I take it. Like, what the crap? Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's certifi- yeah, take certifiably, certifiably crazy. Um, that's that, only number 10. That's 10. Yeah, um, we're probably not going to get through all 10, but that's, wow. Number nine is eating toilet paper. Toilet paper is supposed to go one place and it ain't your mouth, but Keisha has been snacking on toilet paper for years, going through four to five rolls a week. The hell with popcorn, she even takes the rolls to the movies as a snack. What is wrong with you? What? Society, what is wrong? Bro. I don't even want to watch a damn video. Bro. (laughs) What the? All right. Mm. Here we go. Let's let's check this out. All right, Keisha. Let's, Let's see you eating toilet paper, girl. Apparently. My name is Keisha. I'm 34 years old, and I love eating toilet paper. A bulky roll with the two ply, I could probably take down half the roll in one day. 
I carry it with me in my purse. What? When I'm in my car, I keep a roll in my glove compartment box, and I'll just grab the toilet paper and break it off and start eating it. A good place where people really don't pay attention to you eating toilet paper is the movie theaters. It's dark in there, so you can like sneak a couple of sheets in with no one even noticing. A couple of sheets. Something is definitely wrong with her to be sitting up eating tissue. Cause she Clearly, should have no watched shit. The movie and Keisha have a tissue on the side of her. She eating it right now. Right, she's standing at the door eating tissue. Today I'm here at the coffee shop to meet my sister Jennifer. She's trying to convince me to stop eating toilet paper, so I'll see how it goes. You like the way it tastes? I like how it feels <laughs> when it goes on my tongue. <laughs> Wait, you said you like the way it feel on your tongue. Yeah. Well, you break it off and then lay it on your tongue. Mm -mm. No, I'm done. Yeah, bro. What? Toilet and the paper. actual hell. <laughs> toilet paper. I th okay, I was like, oh, this ain't too bad. And then it got bad. <laughs> it got really bad. All right, we're not going to do too many more. Um, we're going to go to the next one. In love with a doll. Oh. All right. Um, Dave Cat. Yes, Dave Cat is in love with a doll named Sidmore. Sidor. Sidor? Sidor. Sidor. They live together, go shopping together, and eat dinner together. Just like a regular regular couple, except you know Sidor is made of plastic. Dave Cat even gives Sidor foot massages. That's probably one of her favorite things in the world. And I guarantee you how much you want to bet it's a sex doll. Oh, fucking called it. Bro. Sex doll. You it's her favorite thing in the world. She's not even living. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what uh, Dave Cat <laughs> has to. Since the show, our relationship really hasn't changed, to be honest. I mean, we are still extremely supportive of each other. I love her completely and utterly, and she's exactly the same way about me. Shi Chun actually really enjoys foot. How rubs. do you know? It's probably one of her favorite Did she things say that world. to you? She thinks her feet are like one of her best and cutest assets, and I'm inclined to agree. I think people think uh, having a synthetic partner is strange because it's just so out of their realm of possibility. That's, for instance, why I had the psychologist come around and uh, I spoke with him for a bit. Is there a part of you that thinks this is peculiar? I just think it's a matter of time before more people are choosing the synthetic option. Dave, she can't see. Yeah. And she can't hear. Yes. One of the most fundamental elements of an addiction is it provides relief from pain. Yes. What's the pain here? Uh, the pain, I would have to say, would be loneliness, really. It makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. and, and it's fulfilling for you. Exactly. And it doesn't hurt anyone. Exactly. So knock yourself out. Yes. <laughs> I get it. The relationship I have with Shi Chan is for my happiness. Shi Chan. You know, if I play along and pretend that she can see, she can hear, that sort of thing, well, if that's what makes me happy, you know, that's what makes me happy. So I really see no reason to change. Sure. Please don't shower together. I placed an order at the tail end okay. of last year for a second doll. Um, her name's going to be Elena, Elena Vostokova. Shidori is the wife. Elena is the live-in girlfriend. It'll be a modern family. Modern family. Interesting. So what we've learned today is that, by the way, this guy, he's not crazy. He knows that it's fake. He actually knows that it's not real. But he's lonely and he's in pain. That's sad, dude. That's actually, I'm not even mad at, like, I, I can't get upset because, like, I get loneliness. Like, that really sucks. Okay. But. Like, well, how do you fulfill loneliness? Right. Companionship. And he found companionship in this doll. It's sweet and weird, but sweet and weird. 
I'll say this. He must have one heck of imagination. <laughs> um, yeah. Just... Look, if that's what makes him happy... If that's what makes him happy, fuck it, right? Like, Sure. Absolutely. Go for it, man. Um, mm, wow. So, if he gets hurt that bad... Mm-hmm. To where he doesn't even want to be around people. I think that's more of a problem. I, yes. think, I think that becomes a problem. I mean, because at that point, he doesn't even want to go out, socialize, and try dating. Right. Or just have friends. Right. I think that would be a different different discussion. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because if you're really going to be in a relationship with a doll, then... You obviously do not have – now, I'm assuming, but you know what happens when you assume. Right. More than likely, he probably doesn't have any other friends. I mean, yeah, it's, it's bad to assume, but, I mean, kind of – I don't know. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Let us know uh, if you think this is weird, if you think it's sweet and weird and sweet and weird. Please comment. With that being said, that's all for this episode of Potty Mouth. Make sure to like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, or watch it here on YouTube. If you're watching it here on YouTube, make sure to like this video so we can keep bringing you fun, so the goofy content like this. Don't forget to come back Friday to see our new project that we're working on. It's going to be great. But that's all for this episode of Potty Mouth, and we will see you next time on the podcast.